What a shake in my MS Gym family. How are you guys doing? Welcome to day four of this week. Uh, super happy to have you guys here and I'm ready to get fired up. I got no shoes on today because we got to do some footwork stuff. So I'm showing some leg, baby. It's all good. All right. So if you're brand new to the MS Gym, I want to welcome you. Uh, I want to let you know that this is the place that you need to be in, in order to learn how to exercise best and most appropriately and most effectively for MS. So exercise can help manage your MS symptoms and it can help slow down the progression of MS and that's why we're here. All the exercises in the MS gym are built and designed and put together to help you step by step, strategy by strategy, work around the lesions in your brain, work around the demyelination in your body and really restore your strength and your balance and your coordination and all that kind of fun stuff. So welcome. So what we're doing this week is we are uh, working through a series called Standing Strong. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about Standing Strong and we worked on the activation exercises to get everything set from neck to shoulders to spine to core to hips to feet. And then last week, we worked on a sitting series as well uh, that really, really isolates out your core and gets you strong and shifting into your hips, even though you spend a majority of your time in a chair. And I've already heard that the people that have been working on the Standing Strong Activation Series and the Sitting Strong Activation Series uh, in their bed and in their chair are actually standing better and actually starting to walk uh, and and take some steps forward. And then they're paying attention to the stuff this week about standing up, sitting down, uh, taking steps, doing some like little mini split squats like we did yesterday. And today I want to talk about side to side balance. So with MS... One of the main reasons why people lose balance, they can focus on going forward, right? We can all focus on, okay, I just got to go from point A to point B. But what happens is that, especially with MS, if you start walking and something throws you off, like you're done, right? Your nerves are not firing very quickly. And so it can't, as you, if you take a step and you start to go this direction, there's not a quick enough signal to go to the brain to say, oops, and right yourself and pull yourself back onto balance because that pathway has been damaged. So the goal of the MS gym is to create a new neurological pathway or activate a neurological pathway or train the brain to use new neurological pathways or alternate neuro- neurological pathways. Let's say that they're already in your body. We just need to turn them on. So we need to activate alternative uh, neurological patterns to get this muscle right here to kick in so that when you, and this muscles and this muscle, so that when you start to fall, boom, you can pull yourself back over. The other thing with MS is it's really hard for people to go to the side. So if you have to avoid something or you start falling and you start doing this, you have a hard time catching yourself. So today's exercise is going to work on that side to side balance. Now, I usually have shoes on just because most of you work out in shoes because barefoot is really hard, but I want you to be able to see my feet and what they're doing because as we do side balance stuff, what happens with a lot of people is their, their foot either rolls out or there's the foot drop where it does this and then it collapses into the ankle and all kinds of not good stuff happens, okay? I don't have strong ankles. As you can see, I was born with swimmer's legs, not football player legs, right? And my, my genetics and my family, I roll my ankle all the time. So my ankles are terrible and then you add on the fact that I have Lyme disease behind it and celiac disease behind it and my connective tissue and my ankles are shot. However, I can work out, run, do all kinds of stuff still because I work on balance drills like this a lot to get my ankles stronger and that ankle stability and strength comes from, guess where? Butts, guts, and blades. It does not come from your ankles. There are not any muscles in your ankles. (laughs) All the muscles in your, in your, that control your ankle are in the, are in the lower leg and those are all controlled by the hip. All right. So here we go. So you can do this exercise against the wall with both hands on the wall. You can do it to the side if you want to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a step to the side and kind of sit and then you're going to push yourself back to center and activate butts, guts, and blades and come back to center and find your balance point. Because our goal is to go out of balance, lean into this leg, and then push back to center to get in balance, okay? So we're gonna do 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Now, if you're gonna go on a wall, you step with your outside leg, you step, sit back, and then you push off that outside leg and find your balance on the wall. Don't fall, try to avoid falling into the wall. You just step and then you go right back to center and you get nice and tall 
hips underneath you, guts pulled in, blades down. That's level, or that's kind of like level three is what we're going to do first, which is a sidestep free. Level two is on the wall with one hand. Level one is on the wall with both hands. So you'd have both hands on the wall and you'd step and then you'd come back. Or you can grip a counter or a sink or something like that. Okay? So what we're going to do is two rounds of this. I'm going to show the level three first. Then I'll go back to level one, then I'll go back to level two, and then we'll go back to level three. Okay? So let's go 10 steps go to, to this side. So before you even start and you preload, you need to preload it up, which means butts, guts, and blades. So you activate here, which takes away knee extension and allows you to be soft in your knees. Okay? Just a little dance. It helps out. I don't know why, but it just does. All right, so pull in those abs, shoulder blades down. Now, when you step, you are going to step and sit down just a little bit. So you got to push your butt back just a slight bit. And then when you press back to this leg, you're going to push, watch my hips. You're going to push and push your hips forward. And that's going to lock in your glute and your abs. So it's not just push off the leg and drag the leg. You're literally, you're sitting back in almost a little mini deadlift. And then watch this hip right here. You are driving that hip forward and pushing to the side. Okay, so we're going to step this side first. Here we go. Abs are in, shoulder blades are down, and glutes. Note, real quick, pay, like think about how much time I'm spending on a simple step to the side and push back exercise. That is a big, big, big flashing sign, meaning that this is a key exercise and you need to listen. Okay, this will change your world. So, here we go. Butts, guts, blades, step. Lean into this leg a little bit. Sit your butt back, and then you're going to push your hips forward. Abs are in. Come back to center. One. Okay? So, you're going to sit. I usually put my hands out for balance, and then you pull them back as you step back. That's two. Down and pull back. That's three. So, you lock this butt, abs, and blades. So, butt's got some blades. And go. Four. So, I'll either go both hands up and five, or I'll go one hand forward, the opposite leg. So, you want to lean into this leg and then push back to center. Six. So, you're coming down. You're pushing off this leg, and then you're, you're slamming those hips forward so that your weight transfers to this hip. That's seven. So, lean and pull, eight, okay? Lean, so you're pushing off this leg, pull and squeezing that hip to finish, nine. Leaning into this leg, push and pull, and 10, okay? So now I'm gonna go to the other side, so you're gonna go this direction, so, and I'm gonna show you how to do that on a wall. All right, here we go, so same jam, so we're down, then we're pushing off this hip, squeezing that one, and one. Step, hold onto the wall, and two. Step, sit back, push off this one, and then butt squeeze. Squeeze that marker, boop, and pull those abs in, boop, okay? Back down, so crack that nut, baby. Crack that nut. Make your booty into a nutcracker. Three, down, and four, okay? Down, find your balance, so I have both hands out, right? And five, down, sit back, push off this one, then pull with the other one. Six, step, and seven, Step, and eight, see, watch my hips, down, and nine, I push my hips forward, I sit back, push off this one, 10, push my hips forward, okay? Now, we're gonna go back to this leg, okay, that's my right, it might be your left, so pick a leg, doesn't matter. So if, you, if you're good on level three, stay out there, if you're good on level two, which is the wall, stay out there, this is level one, I'm gonna do this to the right, and then I'll go back to level three. So hands are out. Here we go. Step into this side. Ready? And go. So we're down. We push off this glute and then squeeze with this glute. One. Step down. Push off this glute. Squeeze with this glute. Two. And you can see, squeezing that marker, baby. Squeezing that nut. Down and up. Three. Down. Butt goes back. Push from here. Squeeze from here. Four. Down. So lean into this hip. Push from here. Squeeze from here. Five, down, lean, and six. Watch my feet, they're all staying down. I'm not rolling my ankle. Seven, step here, make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Lean, push, squeeze. Eight, keep those abs in. Down, lean, pull, abs, squeeze. Nine, back down, sit, and 10. So that's level one, okay? So one is two hands on the wall, Two is one hand in the wall, level three is off the wall, okay? 
We just stepped to the right. We're going to the, or your left, my right. We went to this side. Now we're going to this side. All right, here we go. Ready? So last one. Remember, it's step. You lean, abs are in. Push off this glute. Pull those abs in. Squeeze that booty. So you see how that goes? Push, squeeze, pull. Uh, push, squeeze, pull. Uh, push, squeeze, pull. There's my dance move for today. All right, abs are in and squeeze. Good. Step, lean. Push, squeeze, pull. Boom. Two. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Boom. Three. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Four. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Five. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Six. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Seven. Down. Push, squeeze, pull. Eight. Find those abs. Come on. Push, squeeze, pull, or push, squeeze, or pull, and then squeeze. Boom. Nine. <laughs> Last one. And 10. Good job. So if you can think about pushing off that leg that you step with, pulling in those abs, it's push, pull, squeeze. Any guy's saying it's push, squeeze, pull. Whatever. Push, pull, squeeze. So you do this, push, pull, squeeze. So you push, pull those abs in, squeeze that opposite glute. Okay? So push, pull, squeeze. Boom. Squeeze that glute. Okay? If you can do that, what you're doing is you're working your body in what's called the frontal plane, which is this. Almost no traditional therapy uh, program for MS ever works frontal plane. Okay? If you did get worked on that, you had a good fit, you had a good program. Okay? But most people tend to just get people walking forward and they're like, I still don't feel steady. Well, if you don't add balance in this plane and you don't add balance in the rotational plane, how the heck are you ever going to walk properly? Because when we walk, all three of those planes of motion are activated and used. Okay? So if you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to comment, comment away. And be on the lookout for some cool stuff if you're brand new. How to get started, where to get started. I'm going to put up some previews of our free exercise programs um, probably over the next couple days. I know I've said that before and I've been a little slow, uh, but that's happening uh, pretty much within the next half hour. So we're going to start that. If you have any questions, let me know. Love having you guys here. Start practicing this stuff. By the time you get to Saturday, we're going to put all this stuff together and you're going to have a bad mamma jamma standing strong circuit. All right? So practice your dance moves and I'll see you guys later.